I really wanted to uh, set the record straight. Do you know? I mean, there have been so many stories what happened with Carson, what happened with Fox, and what happened with my husband. And that was the beginning of it. And it's a story of what happens when one partner goes up, another partner goes down. When you went to Fox, one of the, one of the prerequisites of yeah. you going and doing that was that Edgar would be the executive. Edgar producer. was executive producer with total artistic control. How did this, the working together with Edgar affect your marriage? It was terribly difficult because anything that went wrong, they blamed on him, and that uh, destroyed him. He was very shaky at that time. After the, you, you both left the show, then yeah. it, it, then he, my uh, husband had a breakdown, and it was. Um, it was awful. He just, uh, he thought he had brought the, the temple down. And um, it was, it was just, it, just it, ru it ruined his life. I mean, it, 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 nothing, no one thing causes someone to kill themselves, but the public humiliation that their press people vented upon him was probably one of the cruelest things I've ever seen done to anybody in my life. At the time of Edgar's death, you two were separated. We separated. Um, he was drowning. And I said, I cannot help you. You must go for help. You must get help. You can't pull me down. Because I'm not, I was drowning too. I had been fired and publicly humiliated and left for dead along with my husband. I said finally at the end, if you don't get help, I'm leaving you. Because I knew it was going to, it was going to be the, the two of us. Two of us were going to drown dead. And um, he said, I will, I will, it was in Philadelphia at the time. And he said, I will come home and get help. And instead of coming home and getting help, he committed suicide. Now, how did you find out that he had committed suicide? My daughter, I had gone in uh, for very minor surgery into the hospital, and they were coming to pick me up, and instead of them coming, my daughter came into the room, and she said, uh, sit down, I have something terrible to tell you, and I just said, just tell me, don't. And she said, they found Daddy. And uh, my poor daughter had the burden of telling me, just, uh, Weren't you furious with Edgar furious. for leaving you? Still am. I will go past his picture sometime in the house and go, <laughs> I'm still furious with him at times. But how dare he do this to me? How dare he do this to his daughter? Yes. I went, the, the night he killed himself, I went into his medicine chest and threw every pill of his into a wastebasket and threw it out. I went over to his night table and knocked everything off his night table, which had been so meticulously kept, all his books piled up. Just hang, oh, total anger. Do you think that your marriage would have lasted had he lived? I, I think I would have been dead if he had lived. He was, it was impossible at that point. I think I was... It was one or the other of you? I think one of us had to get out of that lifeboat. And maybe his killing himself, in some very strange way, gave me the strength. In other words, one of us had to survive, and by him killing himself, it left me no choice.